Yo, what's up, world? It's your man, Slim Jim Longfoot, a.k.a. the GOAT, King of America. Yo, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe down below and hit that notification bell so you can keep up on all things Slim Jim Longfoot, such as my product reviews, my how-to videos for small YouTubers, my daily vlogs, my TV and movie reviews I do from time to time, my reactions I do from time to time, and last but not least, my art video series, GOAT1408 TV. I'm joined over here to my right, Grand Hustler, my cousin Grand Hustler, who is currently playing Remnant on PS5. You know what I'm saying? If you are a fan of the comic book series and, and the adaptation, the animated adaptation of the same name that premiered last month on March the 26th, 2021 on Amazon Prime Video. Today is the 30th of April, 2021. This Friday, Invincible Friday, hashtag Invincible Friday. We just saw the last episode, the season finale of season one of Invincible. Yesterday, of course, earlier today, uh, well, earlier yesterday on uh, 29th of April, it was announced that they are, of course, picking up Invincible for two more seasons. Who had any doubts on that? Seasons two and three are going to be com are confirmed. Cross your fingers, we could get season two in the fall, or if not, we'll have to wait until next year around this time. But I don't know about y'all, but your boy want that to happen around the fall time. You feel me? Yo, shout outs to my bro, Johnny Quest Gaming. Um, Johnny Quest Gaming, my bro of over 30 years, he is the person who introduced me to Invincible back in 2011. Back in 2011, um, when I got my first um, laptop, he introduced me to the series. He got me the first 11 issues of the book at the time, and I fell in love with the series because it was so fresh because I've been a comic book fan just about all my life and invincible was such a fresh take like i've seen it in the stores beforehand but in the 2000s decade you know 2000 2009 i wasn't really buying comic books like that i was more in the process of you know just trying to you know buckle down and make my own books you feel me and but and i wasn't really into getting into new properties during that time but i had seen invincible a few times over the years when i was in the comic book store but i never you know came across an issue you know of any cover you know any issues or any hubbub about it that really piqued my interest during that time but in 2011 when he was like hey check this uh series out you know saying he got me the first 11 issues i read them and i was like man this junk is really good and you know i was always a fan of image comics because i remember when image comics first came on the scene 30 years ago in 1991 robert kirkman being someone of my generation who grew up reading those new comic books a big fan of eric larson the creator of savage dragon um and created those books and um he um came out with two books in the same year 2003 one being invincible in january of that year and later on that year another book he uh created the walking dead which everybody knows best from the um amc live action adaptation of that uh comic book series that's been going on for over 10 years now um so like i said i became a fan of invincible back in 2011 i got my mom into the book in 2012 which ended up being the year that she died and um from that point forth from um throughout the rest of the decade up until 2018 the um year that invincible ended after 144 issues on valentine's day um i had been a fan of that series and you know the past three years you know we hadn't had anything else new regarding Invincible. You know, there have been talks of, you know, uh, animated series uh, coming and a live action movie and all of these things. Once we got the word that Invincible was coming, Amazon Prime Video and found out it was coming in March, the countdown was on. I remember a month ago, well, in February, I was like, got one more month in. One more month, March 26th, it's coming. Everybody was waiting on Invincible to come out everybody was waiting on it the people who were fans of the comic book series waiting and the people who seen the trailer for it and was like okay intrigued and you know a lot of people was intrigued by the voice cast which i am intrigued by the voice cast as well episode eight dropped episode eight dropped i wish y'all could have seen my reaction grand hustle over here he was about to he, he he about to lose his marbles over it i'm gonna let him i'm gonna let him further explain his uh, thoughts on it um, as a matter of fact, we're about to get into it right now with Grand Hustle. Grand Hustle, who I've been telling about the book for years, he never read. He never read. 
said, yeah, he 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 glanced here and there. He he glanced at it just like how you glance at junk mail. You know, you like, oh okay, that's that, that what he did. So with that being said, now that he has got his cherry pop on this season one of Invincible, what do you think <clears throat> of the series, the over the first season of Invincible? What episode stood out to you in 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 these eight episodes that you saw? All eight. <laughs> but, but if I had to pick, I say the first episode and the eighth episode and the fifth episode. All right, all right. Now, of course, when my cousin Grand Hustle talks about the first episode, it is pretty much the first episode that sealed the deal for a lot of people that didn't know about the um, the comic book. My dad even said it reminded him of Sky High, you know, the awesome movie, you know, that came out around with 05, 06 with Kirk Russell and, you know, those folks who were right there, you know, it had that Sky High appeal, you know, coming of age story, you know, boy trying, boy hoping to get powers like his parent, you know what I'm saying, being the most powerful superhero on earth and everything of that nature. And, you know, that's what it was. I mean, like the first, um everything before the end credits was you know awesome you know what I'm saying it was an awesome tale to see but then once the end credits rolled and you saw what happened all the guardians of the globe got called in and this man omni man pulled up and killed everybody killed everybody and that of course set the tone for What, 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 what would you describe instead obliterated. of obliterated he obliterated the guardians of the globe and therefore set the tone for the whole season as to why did this man do this i thought he i thought he was cool was he brainwashed was he being mind control you know i mean the questions that debbie asked in episode seven were all up in the air at that point the other episode that uh, stood out to my cousin that he just mentioned, of course, episode five being the episode where we saw Battle Beast do some battle. Where, yeah, Battle Beast ain't nothing to play with, and that ain't who you want to, you know, see in your face. Like, if Battle Beast ain't on your team, you just need to quit. If if you if you in a if you in a if you want if you in a if you in a war if you in a battle. And Battle Beast on the other side, it's time to surrender. Simple as that. <laughs> and y'all learned that. Y'all learned that <laughs> after that episode. You feel me? And episode eight, the season finale, is the other episode he say stood out. And all I gotta say is, don't ride no trains with Omni Man in the city. <laughs> <laughs> Thing about well, that was Marty mm. uh, <laughs> Oh boy, Man. oh boy, oh boy, that's all I gotta say on that, too. So, if anybody else got any, um, I don't know what, what, else, what else to say. I mean, I could really go on and on and on, but you know, I, I have the comic book knowledge, which. It's saying something, but not saying something. But I'm going to tell y'all as a comic book reader of Invincible, this episode went to perfection. It went exactly as I hoped it would go. You know saying? Of course, adding tidbits here and there. You know, extra things. You know, like, you know, Mark trying to save people, you know, in the, in the, in the um, chaos and everything of that nature. You know, before Omni-Man just straight took control of the whole situation and boom. You know, like, you know, like Mark trying to save the woman, you know, f falling out the building like that wasn't in the comic. And I knew I knew that I knew that 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 pretty much showed how much of a hero that Mark is and can be, you know, because he didn't have to try as hard as he did. But it goes to show he was trying as hard as he possibly could. He was up there trying to hold up a building that was 
collapsing in his hand while holding on to a woman and all of you know he he couldn't save none of them and he you know found 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 you know it, it was nothing could be done you feel me it was nothing could be done like omni man pretty much showed him hey when when we do battle we do battle it ain't nothing pretty about this you know like those soft people that you know sat up there and you know boohoo in the crowd about the man of steel carnage over the years like oh my god oh the destruction like really this is what happens when you have two super powered flying beings going at each other you know what i'm saying you are going to get this type of situation that's why only man showed him he showed him okay you sitting up here crying about this one dude i just killed watch what happened when i punch you into punch you towards the city you know what I'm saying? It went off like a daggone blast, like, boom. Just that one hit, you went through everything. It, it killed about, it, it killed hundreds, possibly thousands of people just that quick. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, Omni Man had to let them know, hey, hey, if it goes down, it goes down. It, it ain't pretty around here. It's not nothing pretty. Chaos is going to happen. You know, carnage is going to happen. And you don't want it to happen, but I mean, this, this is this is the real talk of it all. And you know, and y'all, and anybody that's sitting up crying like, oh my God, it's too much destruction. Well, this is not a Marvel comic book. This is not a DC comic book. This is an independent comic book. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to just say an Image comic book because it's up under, uh, published by Image Comics, but um, the people who publish their books under Image Comics are independent creators they own their own properties so you know what I'm saying they are able to tell the stories that they are able to tell and there isn't no filter with invincible because it is a creator owned property and it's showing you it's a it's a breakdown of the whole super the superhero trope you feel me and that's what that's what made invincible such a popular book you know throughout it throughout its 15 year run from 2003 to 2018 and what y'all what y'all saw you know there it is this guy we thought he was you know the superman of this world and it turns out to be um definitely not that but you hopefully well i don't like i say i don't want to say too much because i have once again i have the comic book knowledge but just from this episode it, it lets you know that there is another layer for him because if he was really going to do what he was going to do for the Viltrum Empire, he would have killed Mark and he would have stayed and went ahead and took out anybody else that opposed him right then and there in that episode. That would have been the end of the series right there. So I'm just going to tell, tell you like that. And, you know, just like uh, Alan said, and he asked that man, you know, like, what you going to do next? And, um, you know, Mark pretty much just said, uh, you know, he's going to finish high school, he guess, and and that's that's pretty much where it goes and that's another great thing about this series because it's not just going to be stuck of him you know dealing with high school throughout the whole series probably when we get back in the first uh episode i predict in the first episode of the second season will probably be the episode where he graduates high school because he was already in his senior year of high school at the time and um i estimate they say what eight months since the guardian Excuse me, since the Guardians of the Globe got killed. So that means he had to probably been in the beginning of his um senior year in high school when um he got his powers. So with that being said, huh? <laughs> hey. Hey, I mean that's how you feel. You like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, that's that's my pet right there. That that, that that's that's my little pet. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I'm, make a purr. <laughs> but you know, but yeah, but that, but yeah, everything Omni Man was saying. I mean, he he was he was trying his best to not not just convince Mark, but convince himself. You know what I'm saying? If you know, like, if you know anything about psychology, it was not not just convincing mark of this but it was convincing himself because you know he could did everything a lot sooner if he really wanted to but once again like he said he was just trying to see if mark was going to be you know like him because it was like uh I, I, I need you to 
get it together, buddy. We need you to get it together. And whoop, there it is. So, um, for anybody else got any more questions or comments, you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all put them below. You know what I'm saying? I answer what I can. I mean, if you want to get spoiled, I can spoil you, but I don't want to do it on camera. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, if you are a comic book reader, you know, we can talk more about it. You know what I'm saying? Um, if not here, you can hit me up on the Instagram, you know, goat1408. That's the Instagram or whatever, whatever. Or we can talk right here in the comments, however you want to do it. Uh, any, any more, um, predictions from you for season two? What you think gonna go down in season two there? I, I wanna see somebody put their foot in the man. You know what I mean? <laughs> For some reason, my cousin don't like uh, Omni Man. I don't know why. I, I really don't know. Man, I'm telling you, that Hitler with superpowers, man. I keep telling you that, man. <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. He said that Hitler with superpowers. He said that Hitler yeah, with this, superpowers. This, this last episode. Put the nail in the coffin for me, man. You see the way they were saying? <laughs> he people ain't nothing. He ain't taking no. He's doing all. He's sitting there saying, "Hit the seat." <laughs> <laughs> look, look at the mustache, man. Look at the sideburn, man. Come on, man. <laughs> oh man, shout out to J.K. Simmons doing a great job. Yeah, he did awesome job. Doing a great job. Stephen Yoon doing a great job. Is Mark Grayson, aka Invincible. The whole cast is just A1 for real, though. Who is your favorite character so far? Uh, Mark, of course. Battle Beast. I'm going to say Omni-Man because I like, I like his attitude, but I don't like how he how he go about doing what he do. Omni-Man. All right, first favorite character, of course, Mark. I think that's what he said. Mm -hmm. Second favorite. Get Omni-Man. You're not saying uh, third, my third favorite is uh, 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 Battle Beast. My fourth favorite, even though we don't see him one time this season, is Machine Head. Okay. And I know where your family lives. And my fifth favorite, I have to say, Buddy, uh, 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 the, the dude. That, Nigga that cheated on the girlfriend. Red Splode. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some told me it was Red Splode. Some told me it was Red Splode. Yeah, Red Splode, yeah. Red Splode, yeah. See, Red, see, Red Splode deserves some love, too. Yeah, he he's a scumbag when it comes to relationships, but Red Splode's an awesome guy. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Red Splode, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause hey, he gonna hey, he gonna keep it real with you. Like, hey, in the last episode, he was like, hey man, what what's really going on in the world right now? Like I need, I need answers for you know, like hey, we 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 heroes out here, but we can't be stupid out here. You feel me? So that part. And with that being said, y'all, um, that's that's pretty much it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna wrap this thing on up. I hope y'all, you know, keep on doing what y'all doing. Hope y'all enjoy season one review on Invincible. Meantime, between time, hope y'all enjoyed this. I'm gonna fly off on y'all. I'm about to um, see where Omni Man went, okay? Deuces. Tell him don't waste my time. Tell him don't waste my time. Tell him don't waste my time.